thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, Pete. This is another P code. Today's P code. Blue lives don't matter if you white and out here popping cops. When you see a cop get propped and the white boy that do it, because you know it's going to be a white boy, get taken in alive, what you just witnessed was white nationalist code or jargon or subversive to white society saying, we won't harm whiteness. They're signaling to white society, white nationalism and white unity is more important than Blue Lives Matter and all the other bullshit they be lying about when it comes to the police. And that's the code. We all know the police fraternity in the U.S. started out as slave catchers. And what was the priority of the slave catcher? To protect the interest of whiteness. I always say, I wouldn't be surprised to hear a story of a slave catcher getting shot by a white abolitionist or some shit back in the day. And they let the abolitionist live just because he's white. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) One fact that we can't overlook is that most white people come from long lines of police officers. So as far as most cops are concerned, a white boy shooting up a high school, killing a bunch of kids and shooting a few police is as good as a police officer killing up a bunch of kids and shooting the police in the process. Policing. It's some all-in-the-family shit when it comes to this anti-black war that we in. That's why you notice non-white officers be like paint drawn on a wall. They can't say nothing, can't do nothing, don't got no power for real, they don't control shit. Because they're not in the family business. They came up through some temp agency or some shit. I don't know. What white person do you know that doesn't have family that's lawyers, Judges, DAs, police officers, military, this goes through their family. Generations of participating in maintaining a prison system off of slave catching and all the rituals that come with it. You know what I mean? Slave catching on behalf of whiteness. Protecting, giving, and accepting special privileges on behalf of whiteness. While they son and daughter sitting up at the Kendrick Lamar concert talking about nigga, nigga, nigga. You hear me? And I'll get at that in another video. But I'm saying when police allow white males to shoot police and live, they're standing up for whiteness over the rule of law. They'll take a bullet like some damn crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Just so they can symbolize to whiteness as a group that there is no law for you. Death as a punishment is not an option for you, even if you shoot one of ours. If this officer you shoot lives, you good. If you can pay the DA in a good way. And I'll talk about paying the DA in another video. But the moral is, whiteness determines whether or not you can pop a cop and live. Whether you get Burger King and all the other punk-ass shit they do. But that's the code of the day. I get a shot later.